Anyway, extended range stormcallers I was thinking about, but I don't like to nerf the damage on a unit that already has insane range. I skip, and my opponent takes the elite training, or um, what's it called? Uh, intensive training, intensive training. He's probably going to use that on the hacker, isn't he? I bet he's going to use that on the hacker. If I were in his position, I think I would totally be using it on the hacker. Anyway, I've been tr thinking about what went wrong here. And step number one, in my opinion, is uh, Stormcallers. I played a game against Anzeigen Oberhauptmeister a while ago. Uh, I have no idea which episode it is. Um, but I think I uploaded it and... Um, or was it against Skay? Now I'm totally no longer sure. Uh, but anyway, I was basically asking what's the answer to hackers because uh, I get hacked severely, very, very badly. And uh, yeah, uh, the answer was air, artillery and um, chaff, I think. No, air, artillery and fangs. Which is kind of what I'm doing now. I have a bit of air at least. Some artillery, which I dropped three more of in just this one turn. And then some fangs. And I'm also dropping oil down here in order to oil my opponent up. And burn him in the end. Now he did level that Vulcan. I guess he wants a tank in front more than he wants a higher level hacker. This is why Mustangs are bad to use for this. You can just put something here and they will stop. And that kind of defeats their purpose. Now these Stormcallers, they have Splash, high explosive ammo, and that means they are much better at chaff clearing, although doing less damage. Also, I have shield on the fortresses, so they don't really care about the Vulcans or the Hackers right now. They just steamroll in. And this is where the turn in from losing a lot of health to I'm going to win this turn so handily that my opponent is in real trouble right now. All of these Stormcallers, along with the Fortresses tanking, were the key to victory here. Acid Blast, the Giant Hunter, Haste Module, maybe even Improved War Factory, all of these, um, at least the War Factory one, once upon a time considered useful. Now, unfortunately, the War Factory is basically useless. Uh, I took the Giant Hunter. My opponent, I think, just skipped. I know he got the Haste module. He got the Haste module. He's putting up shields. Which I'm not 100% sure what of. Uh, or what uh, their use is. Because the Stormcallers do 40% less damage. But it's still a very, very healthy amount of Stormcallers. I'm kind of worried that he might be going for some missile interception. So instead of more fortresses, I just drop a lot more Stormcallers. Probably excessive amounts of Stormcallers, let's be real. But I also like my symmetry. And now I can have a symmetrical setup. I can have four uh, on each side and one in the middle. And I'm mostly dropping them behind the shielded fortress so that if in the future combat powers drop, I can just, you know, not care. I like not having to care about combat powers. I'm also putting shield on the fangs, which is super expensive, but I have some fangs. And if I go into a fortress with fang production, they are going to be even more juicy. My opponent is uh, feeling the overlord. Also, I'm protecting my flanks. I'm not buying out yet. My opponent is buying out, and uh, he's also directing these Mustangs in the other direction, so they no longer get caught. Which is actually not a bad strategy, but that kind of defeats the purpose of them being there in the first place. So, what do I have in the way of anti-air? A bunch of fangs that are chaff in front. So, not a big secret, I think, how this is going to be turning out. The additional damage from the Overlord, even though it has been nerfed, and nerfed quite severely, is still pretty good against Fortress Shields. He also has the option of Launcher Overload. So, yeah. Suddenly, like, the hackers aren't accomplishing much, they just get shredded, because they don't stand in front of the Vulcans. Uh, but the Overlords are way more than enough to finish this fight. And I end up with nothing 
but storm callers again today free over free overlord uh, what do you call this not really fleet battle group i think battle group is the correct term a free overlord battle group that completely annihilates my forces so now what to do is the big fat question that's staring me in the face there's a Wraith offered, but Wraiths is not good into Overlords unless you have insanely high level Wraith with heal and range and floating artillery array. Then they can start competing Overlords or you win the Chaff Wars so incredibly heavily, which I'm not. The enemy has Vulcans, so I'm just selling the Wraith. I could also uh, already hear it in the background. I'm adding missiles to the fortresses. And now it's time to hit all the buttons here and just drop the forts in unhealthy quantities. Hopefully unhealthy for my opponent. Giant Hunter did help. But it would have been like it did not yet pay for itself. It costs 150 to buy if you also factor in the 50 you're missing from... Um, well, basically from not having the extra 50 supply. He's going into range. He's also buying out. He bought some melting points. He's buying range at least. And then he's dropping another overlord. Now this is a proper giant war. I have six fortresses. My opponent has five overlords, two Vulcans and two melting points. And he's heavily stacking one side. Interestingly, he's stacking the side that doesn't have the level 2 Hacker and the level 2 Vulcan, which I'm not entirely sure is the correct option. But I guess he's worried about me getting the tower. I'm throwing down the missiles here. Because this is likely going to be the last turn. Like, if you look at this board, even if somebody has 3000 health, it might as well be the last turn. The missiles are doing great. More chaff being deleted by another uh, sentry missile. And they are starting to hit the overlords hard. And the fortresses, they don't stop. They just push in. The stormcallers have gotten rid of all the chaff that still was surviving. And now all of a sudden I have three fortresses against three overlords. And um, I guess I have a lot of chaff in the form of stormcallers. My opponent is just under double tower debuffs. And I end up taking the turn, and I think that is also the it's the game. The simply the fortresses would have been enough. That's exactly what I mean by confidence threshold. I knew in this state of the board that all I needed was to take the fortress, drop four more of these suckers, and steamroll in, even if he has melters. I just drop some missiles to win the chaff war, and that's it. So, Fortress with a uh, Stormcaller with High Explosive Ammo for Chaff Clear. I think High Explosive Ammo in this case is somewhat superior maybe, because even if the opponent's Chaff gets close, and these do not delete Chaff so efficiently that nothing can ever get close to you, um, if you hit the Fire button here, and uh, you suddenly have Fire in this section of the map, then uh, if you hit chaff, uh, if, if you hit the fang production later on, uh, all that will happen is you burn your own fangs. So I think in this specific case, high explosive ammo is actually better because it uh, almost doubles the radius and that means almost quadruples the area, if I'm not mistaken, that is being hit by the storm caller. And uh, instead, you can only hit enemy units and you can't burn yourself. That said, of course, the opponent also has the option of going into fire. But anyway, this is exactly what I mean with Fortress, Confidence, Threshold. I think I've achieved that in some way. Of course, I have a lot more room for practice. But I'm really happy about this game and how it turned out. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a nice... Uh, well, it's about 9, 19 a.m. in the morning here. So uh, I guess have a nice morning from my perspective, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time.